We are back at SeaWorld. Today our main goal at SeaWorld is to visit the Sesame Street 5th Birthday Party Parade, which happens to be at 2.30 p.m., right in the middle of nap time. Which means that we're going to need to fill in some time up to that point, and our hope is that our children will still be in a good mood when the parade begins, and that we can get them off to nap time in a timely manner. Initially we had planned that we were going to try to go to Magic Kingdom today, but uh, actually we only have the Pixie Pass and so we are blocked out for the next two weeks because of spring break season. But I am happy to report that at SeaWorld, although they had recently repaved the parking lot and there were some issues about that that we complained about last time because there was no pedestrian walk area, now they have painted a pedestrian walk area. So all is well and safe. It is very cloudy and overcast right now and rain is forecasted for early this afternoon, which means that there's a strong possibility that we won't have the opportunity to do very much today. So that's actually kind of our challenge that we're gonna have today to see how much we can get done before it starts to rain. All right, our first stop today is to check Vivian's baby's height. I don't think she's gonna be able to ride anything by herself. And our first stop is of course the Dolphin Nursery. What do you see? Dolphins. You see the dolphins? What's he doing? Do you jump in the water? Nice. Here's he loves the Dolphin Nursery. So our children enjoyed doing that for a solid 20 minutes. They probably could have stayed even longer, but I got bored with it. So now we're going to head off to go pet the stingrays. On the way, we had to let Pierce see the flamingos for a little bit. All right, we saw some manatees and some sea turtles, and now it's 11 a.m., so it's time to go get lunch. So we're trying a new restaurant here today at SeaWorld, so we'll keep you guys posted. So I got the queso burger. I already took a bite out of it, but they have a topping bar where you can put on some sour cream and some um, pico de gallo and salsa and jalapenos and stuff. So I did that to my fries too. And I got the taco salad. It's got grilled chicken and I used the yeah. topping bar too to put some stuff on mine. What you got, Bubba? Oh, I got Yeah, you got a little bit of everything. And chicken. And chicken, yeah. So the chips and cheese are my favorite. They taste really good. The cheese is a little bit making me um cough a little bit. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> she said the cheese is making her cough a little bit. I think the cheese is kind of bland, personally. And we got a slice of chocolate cake for each of us to take a bite. So that brought the total for the meal to $50 and some change. And that was after our discount for being pass holders. All right, well, that's over. So now we're gonna head over to the Orca Show. I actually really liked this restaurant. It was nice getting something that wasn't super fried with extra French fries. I liked that I could get the chicken taco salad and it was actually really good. Uh, it was all right. <laughs> The Orca Show was a success and now it is 1224 and rain is still forecasted for 3 p.m. So I think we've got a little time to go to Sesame Street Land and have a good time. Making our way to the carousel. Now Vivian loves the carousel, but Pierce does not. So we'll have to find the little bench seat for him to sit on.
And what trip to the playground would be complete without losing your shoe? I went to get a Coke Zero and I accidentally got this pretzel too. But uh, actually the, the pretzel is $11.01 plus the Coke Zero was $6.81. I paid $18.98 for this. Tell us what you think about that in the comments. All right, at this point, the parade is just a few minutes away and the children seem to be holding up okay, but they're getting a little bit on the edge. All right, we've had so much fun playing in Sesame Street land for the last, oh, probably a couple hours. And now it is about 12 minutes past two and we're waiting for the parade. It's gonna start at 2.30. Just before the parade began, some performers came by and sprayed us with water for whatever reason. And we had a wonderful time and made it back in time for nap time. If you'd like to see some more of our adventures around SeaWorld, then click this playlist right here.